My name is Melanie, and two days ago, I successfully sold my home through short sale. We built the house that we just sold um, from the ground up 10 years ago, and um, it's been a long road. Things just really started to fall apart, and we ended up divorced. And during that whole process, um, we were okay with the house payment. It was easy to make, um, but then eventually he lost his job, which means I lost the ability after the divorce to make the house payment because I lost all of my alimony. So I have okay income, the teacher's salary is okay, but it wasn't nearly enough to keep up that mortgage. And so then when I got the phone call from my realtor, he told me in the first conversation, you're behind on your mortgage, you are in danger of foreclosure. When you realize you can't keep your house, there is some shame and embarrassment and humiliation that comes with that. That was my vision on my street would have this big foreclosure sign and my kids would be saying, mom, we have to, what do you mean they're throwing us out? I couldn't put them through that. I got somebody who really knew what they were doing and a short sale, it takes a lot of pressure off of you as a seller because the mortgage company was going to forgive the amount that was left on the loan, which they did at closing. That's huge because there was no way in the world I was going to be able to pay that back. I was just relieved that it's not on my credit report as a foreclosure. I wish I had done something earlier to save some of my hair, save some of my weight, and save the stress that I put on my kids because they could see how unhappy I was. I think that if you can focus on something that you're really looking forward to in your future, it helps you to not stay stuck on everything that's happened. And even the fact that it was a short sale, that, that bothered me, but it's over, it's done with, they've moved in. I'm getting mail at my new place, so I have to keep going.